Alright, good morning everyone and welcome to a new day in Bocas del Toro. My face is so white. What the heck? Maybe it's because of sunscreen or something. Now I'm gonna go to the convenience store because today we are going on a tour. We are going to different beaches and also islands here in Bocas del Toro. Alright, let's see what we need guys. Water is very essential. Every time when you travel to another place or somewhere you need to get water. So, white claw is like 125, two of these. Alright guys, so now we are in Isla Zapatilla. This island is in the southeastern region of Bocas del Toro and it's kind of like this chain of islands, small islands here in Bocas del Toro. The beach area where everyone is just here. There's people over there taking pictures. There you go. We are in now kind of like the inland of the island. It's a very small island here. You hear the birds chirping. There is one house here. But I think this is like a house for someone who like works here. There are like water tanks. So it's very interesting. People that live on the island, they do not have running water. The water source that they get is from above. So the rain. So every time it rains here, they collect the water into these blue barrels right here. And then they use that to, you know, wash your face, brush your teeth, um, drink. They also have kayaks right there. And look at this tree. Wow. It's like a bonsai tree. Look at this. It's like a real large bonsai tree. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to take you guys around the island first. We're going to walk inside the island. And then later on, I'm going to show you guys the beach part where we're going to be swimming. There are you know, sharks out there, tiburones out there swimming right now. So I'm gonna avoid the beach for now and then just explore the inland first. And then afterwards, we'll go and swim outside. So like these, there's trees here that have like this fruit. I'm not sure what fruit this is. It looks like, look at this guys. I don't know what the fruit that is. Looks very similar to like chir uh, chirimoyas um, found in Ecuador. But I know it's not chirimoyas because they grow in really high altitudes. So I'm not sure what that is, but that's so cool. There's like these trees coming out with these fruits. I feel like I'm in the Everglades. And I feel like there's like crocodiles here. You can see there's a lot of mangroves over there. And then it's kind of like a swamp. It's kind of like a, a swamp here. And look at this, these vines all over here. I'm at this board, I've been walking for like 10 minutes now. There's like this boardwalk, I think leads to a beach. I think. So, let's see. I went left and I didn't go right. The left brought me to an abandoned place here. And inside there, there's literally like no way, no other, no other path. So I'm gonna have to walk back and then go right. Yeah, but there's like no path there. You know, the adventure, you know, it'll take us here. So I followed this trail here and it brought me to like this house with coconuts on the bottom. Obviously someone probably, probably lives here, but there is another beach up here. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so I definitely hit a gem here, finding this beach 
without people. And the sand is so smooth and so soft. The water's so blue. And the really difference between this one and the other beach over there on the other part of the island is that this beach is actually colder than over there. And I want you guys to see this. Look at this. There are like small fishes swimming all over here. See that? Yeah, you only get to live once and it's awesome just being here in Isla Zapatia and enjoying the beach. Showing you guys around too. Oh, oh it's so cold. Woo, this feels so good. You know guys, just being out here looking out the ocean, you know, not every day you get a chance to just disconnect from the world, from society and just be by yourself. One part of travel that I really enjoy is to disconnect from the world, from your phone, and just look at this beautiful view out here. And also appreciating the little things in life. I think travel is an opportunity not to just experience and create memories, but it's also, I believe, a journey within. It's a journey inside of you to see who you really are and see who you want to be in the future, to reflect on your experiences. You know, I'm just taking it all in, guys. It's remarkable. And it's so beautiful out here. We're gonna... Snorkels. Snorkel now. Look at this. We're all around here. Good morning everyone! Today we are still here in Isla Colon. We are gonna head out to the airport and we're gonna take the island plane, this small kind of plane with like 30 people. And we're gonna take that plane going to Panama City. So they're fixing the sign here, but this is the airport here in Bocas del Toro. Bocas del Toro, Jose Ezequiel Hall. Tomorrow, yeah. Gracias. ¿Y dónde está la puerta? Okay, gracias. So why did I decide to come to the airport? So there's two ways here to go back to Panama City. One way is by the day or overnight bus, and then the other way is through the island airport. Huge differences in price. If you take the airplane, it's gonna cost you around $120, but if you take the bus, it's gonna cost you around $30. Um, take the airplane, it's also gonna take you one hour to get to Panama City, but if you take the bus, it can take up to 12 hours. Gracias. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. <laughs> Let's go. Por favor, apague el guardia de todos los equipos electrónicos desde este momento en los celulares o dispositivos. Extremo plano de Villa Llanes, la correa para ajustar. Para desarrollar, levante la puerta. 